Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Ijira Nadia Nagataro-san, episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode. We had the episode divided into two parts. The first part was uh, an JRPG-esque type of a setting where Senpai was actually dreaming everything and they were in a magical world where they had to stop the demon lord. <laughs> And turns out the demon lord was Nagatoro and his and her, uh, you know, her friends. So yeah, that was very, very like you know, like I have to say, like quite unique. I was not expecting something like this in a slice of life, you know, anyway. But it was a nice change of pace, you know. And then the next part of the episode started with the obligatory beach episode, which every anime has at least once or twice. Authorize, you know, <laughs> it depends. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it was also like uh, funny in another way. Like, you know, we saw how, like, how, like, Senpai was kind of like not, like, you know, like, at first he decided not to go in, go and have fun, but by the end of it, Nagatoro kind of like, you know, dragged him into the whole, like, you know, f uh, into their whole, like, fun. And uh, yeah, like, Senpai is slowly, slowly, you know, starting to appreciate the um, normie life. <laughs> or is, it, is that it's called that isn't it or is it well, what is it called uh, the Riaju life <laughs> so yeah so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number seven of Ijiranaide Nagataro-san so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what more what can I say like you know <laughs> like <laughs> I th I'm thinking like the, a time must come when she runs out of the ways to tease senpai so you know there there are limited amounts of ways but who knows you know this is Nayatoru like maybe she can like you know invent new ways to <laughs> mess with senpai <laughs> like you know let's see like it, it really fascinates me the different ways she finds to mess with him <laughs> that's a talent i have to say <laughs> okay All right. Okay, what is this about? Senpai want to go to the festival. Okay, I was just saying this in the previous episode. There's another obligatory episode, the summer festival episode, where fireworks, you know, and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Hm. I'm sure she's. I'm sure she'll say something like this. <laughs> Wait, the... He's playing... Hello? Yeah. Oh, Nata is not calling? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Like that's that would be a great character development for him, at least. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't don't think like you know. Whoa!
What what is that noise? Is that his ringtone? Hmm. Oh, he came alone. <laughs> oh no. He's definitely going to run into Nagatoro here. If she came, I'm sure she came. I think so at least. I don't think that's Nagatoro. No, that's not Nagatoro. Oh no, this. Oh my god! Wait, they are here, so Nagatoro is here as well, I'm guessing. Run! Oh my god. Wait, Nagato is not here? Damn, uh, Yoshi's here like accessories. <laughs> okay, I thought so. That's why she did not like invite him oh no oh no <laughs> oh no nada is not here to save him this time what the oh what the <laughs> yeah like if she went she she probably would have called uh, senpai oh no they're holding him hostage <laughs> oh no she's going to Oh my god. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. <laughs> they deliberately did this to mess with her. <laughs> yeah, they... Oh my god. <laughs> Fight! What? <laughs> Yoshi thought that they were- oh, okay, so, alright, okay, understandable, I thought they were going to like, you know, do some kind of martial arts or something, <laughs> wait, he's also going to play? Oh, okay, damn, he's, she's like, oh, what the hell? Um, yes. Oh, damn, it missed. Um, yes, probably. <laughs> oh, she got it.
There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yoshi's like... <laughs> Yoshi's so extra, <laughs> you know? <laughs> wow. Mm. Uh, true? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Go back to the other mountains. <laughs> okay. And Okay, that was good. We got the summer festival episode as well. <laughs> and now the only things that's left is the school trip episode. Oh, we, we're still continuing. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Her hands. What? <laughs> the hands. Okay. Let's see. I don't think he'll do it. Or maybe... Okay, there you go. Yep. Probably he could, like, you know, would have... Held her hand if the fireworks didn't start. I don't know. <laughs> oh, fireworks fell ten meter ahead. Okay. Damn! What the the. It's like a whole... Yeah. The files will end by the time they go. Oh, he remembers. Damn. Oh. Okay. Damn, they're like completely... <laughs> and there you go. What? <laughs> Alright. Progression. And there you go. <laughs> like, I've seen this in anime a lot of times. Like, 
If there is a place like this, I doubt people will, like, you know, not come here. Like, <laughs> I'm sure people would have found it sooner or later. Okay, well, there you go again. <laughs> there you go, like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, senpai. Details. <laughs> it's for research, you know? Science purposes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I doubt. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's why it's usually Empty, okay. Damn, all right. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh yeah, she came from directly from the school, uh, so yeah. Oh, will he like take the, what do you call it, um, ah, the word, yeah, yeah there you go, like, he's taking the initiative. <laughs> what? No, I don't think so, yeah, they do, they do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go home, Senpai. Oh, the school is uh res resumed. <laughs> Hoshino. What? Another family? <laughs> well, she was there in the first episode, so like the yellow haired girl. <laughs> what? What is this? A mole living in a dark hole. Oh, damn! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think so. Oh, this she's talking about them. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Yoshi is awkward. Um, personal space, guys. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh no, this is a very weird combination. They don't even have faces, like, you know? Lit. What? Oh, wait, the, the, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> How dare you go? Well, character development. <laughs> Yoshi Python <laughs> Yeah, she was there the first episode. <laughs> oh my god there okay Adam okay Sakura? Her name is Sakura? The other girl? Okay. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Wow, that was good. Like, we had like, by the end of it, like, you know, in the ending um, part of the episode. Um, like, that's, that's really showing how he is changing. Like, like if this was uh, Senpai from the first episode, no. Like, even though he kind of got dragged into the situation because, like, you know, um, the the tree branch <laughs> was under her under his feet, so he was forced to kind of you know come out. But still, like, that is in itself, like him kind of saying that let's go um that in itself is a big ac accomplishment at least for him like you know like the whole atmosphere was really like what can i say like 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 it was like you know when there's like group of friends kind of talking and everything uh, a person like technically senpai is an outsider you know from their group so like 
it is really difficult to kind of intrude in that like you know in that group and like you know say something so yeah that in itself is a big thing that he accomplished this episode all right okay that's the end all right so um okay so the beginning part of the episode we see the whole uh like not the beginning but 75 percent of this episode was the whole summer festival thing like it's funny i was like you know in the previous episode in the discussion i was saying that there are like a number of tropes in animes which like usually happens and uh, the number one is uh, which is the biggest one is the beach episode like you know every uh, anime has an obligatory beach episode and then there are some others as well for example the summer festival the uh, can be winter festival as well like you know any kind of festival uh, then the then comes uh, um school trip you know and because this is like a school setting we might also have that as well who knows like the school trip and then comes uh, a lot of other like you know tropes as well for example uh what else what else mm, oh the uh, test of courage that's another trope so like haunted house uh, this, uh the festival like you know the school festival like this is the uh like you know this is a town festival that, that is a school festival where like they make some like you know all those booths and everything and the uh, maid cafe um haunted house uh these type of things like like these these are like the tropes I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of other tropes as well i cannot like remember it now but there are some like st stuff like this which like animals kind of use like you know kind of like you know uh, cycle it like uh, like some animals might have some kind of uh school trip episode some anime might have a beach episode like it, it it is like this so i was saying like you know like maybe we'll see some other kind of things like that and in this episode we see the summer festival <laughs> you, you know and everything and <clears throat> even though like these like you know are like used like in each and every episode it not, never at least for me it does not get uh, like you know stale or it does not get repetitive because the characters in them are different like you know one anime has different characters and another anime has different characters even though the setting is same uh, the characters interacting and them having fun is completely a new experience so I've seen a few people kind of say like oh like they like reuse this whole trope thing which like you know a lot of people does not like this but at least for me uh like i you know i i'm quite like enjoyed by like you know entertained by this whole like you know using the same trope over and over again because we can see how different people react to it because the characters are different you know like because they're different animes so yeah that's like my main uh, focus so in this episode like we see in the beginning of the episode the first part of the episode we have the summer festival where now <coughs> like here's the thing <laughs> like th this shows how senpai is changing now like like you know like as he like it is said like as someone interacts with like you know their friends and everything their behavior their like you know personality kind of rubs off on them and that's what's basically happening and like <clears throat> like you know like senpai himself thinks that oh like uh, like at first she he thinks that okay like like she'll call me anytime and then when she doesn't she th he thinks that okay so what should i do now okay I'll, I'll, I'll just go and like take a peek in the festival like i'm not going to like you know <laughs> like to like meet like you know uh, accidentally meet with her like i'm just going to uh, eat some yakisoba yeah and he goes out and he doesn't even dress because you know because if he dresses up and goes like it will be like you know like he is deliberately going there so he doesn't even dress up in his yukata and everything he just goes there casually and <laughs> and then he gets to know that actually Nagatar did not come here and obviously i'm sure if Nagatar came here he she would have called senpai i doubt she would not have so but uh, Nagatar's friends are here um gamo and yoshi so yeah <laughs> and it was really like you know <laughs> funny seeing the whole scene in when like Nagatoro was in his in her club room and her friend was saying like oh like will you go to the festival and Nagatoro was thinking like yeah like uh, yeah I might go or might not go and then she thinks that okay let me just you know like call senpai and ask him to come <laughs> her phone rings and there you go <laughs> 
the the picture of like senpai being kidnapped uh, you know and taken hostage by them and she rushes off without even like you know going back home that was really like you know funny and everything and uh, <clears throat> yeah like that was a really fun type of like you know uh the first part of the episode was quite fun like we see how like you know they were kind of uh, playing uh, not playing but like you know uh, attending the different contests like the uh what, what is it that what is that called the um the thing that they were doing in the water like trying to scoop up things like it's not gold like you know it's not the goldfish thing it was something else like they were uh, taking out toys so uh, yeah that thing and then the, obviously the shooting target pack practice that one as well and everything and then we like you know then they kind of <laughs> like like everything they had their fun they go the separate way senpai and uh, nagato is left alone and they decide to stay and like wait for the five fireworks and now here's another thing like you know this this is another like what can i say mm, not a trope but kind of like a cliche like here's the cliche um <laughs> in majority of the anime which has a summer fe- like you know summer festival type of an episode or an you know two episodes uh something uh and like the characters actually stay to look at the fireworks 99 percent of the time this thing happens there's crowded there is no <laughs> like you know there's no way to stand and watch the fireworks correctly the main character <laughs> He is the special one and he knows a secret place which no one knows, you know. He is the only soul, like, you know, person who has the knowledge of that secret place. And he goes there with the female leaders, uh, obviously. And they get uh, such a great view of the fireworks happening. (laughs) Now, here's the funny thing. I was thinking... It was going to go the same way. It went in the same way, but there was a little bit of a difference here. So, <laughs> like you know, everything like that happened. Now, my big thing is like I know these are cliches. Like these are because these are cliches. There's no what can I say? Uh, what like you know, common sense here. Like the common, the lack of common sense in this whole setting is that if there really is such a secret place, how does the main character only really knows it? You know, I doubt like. <laughs> you know like that place is so hidden that no one would be able to find that place only the main character knows the place i doubt like that is like the <laughs> like you know <laughs> like that that's why it's called a cliche and like you know because n- normal common sense does not work here and you know and it, it kind of repeats in every anime it was kind of going in the same direction i was kind of saying like you know like oh so like this thing i've seen and like why do people do not know this place why does the main character only knows this place turns out uh, that's actually not the case in at least in this anime because uh, <clears throat> like it was a place where like you know it is supposed to be empty because of what was happening you know <laughs> like uh, like besides them like they were like <clears throat> couples and everything they they were like there and everything you know so obviously like if someone comes into that place and like you know sees that like you know scene they'll obviously get embarrassed and kind of go away just like you know senpai and like naruto they did not notice at the beginning so like so that's why that place is usually empty (laughs) like there's a valid reason at least for this anime i can see so (laughs) yeah but anyways like that's just something you know and uh, yeah and then like by the end of it we see how senpai himself like kind of remembers how nagata told him that like if you want like you know to go like you could have asked you know you, you, like take the initiative and he does that and that's really great now i don't know how much the anime like the manga has uh, you know progressed i'm not so sure about it but who knows maybe like i don't know like if by the next year some like huge development happens like you know probably like, like obviously they'll, they'll surely like go to the summer festival like that will happen but you know like i'm not sure how much development is going to happen by the next year and I, i'm not even sure if they're going to make another summer festival you know uh, if they make it that would probably be something like you know when they like you know uh, like pass out this like you know um, this year I, i'm not sure which like you know which uh 
like you know high school uh, year they are studying in i'm not so sure about so if they like pass that year out and advance a class and it will be then like you know in a like in a completely new year they might like come here again who knows and uh, like i'm really wondering how like you know how much development is going to happen by that time so I, i'm going to keep try at least try to keep this like you know episode in uh, my memory and keep it in mind and i'm like you know if if they make another like such like you know summer festival uh, episode in the future which is after one year i'm going to compare you know how like you know their their relationship is now and how it is after one year so that's one thing that i'm kind of going to you know like compare if if i remember obviously so yeah anyways uh, there's something completely else uh, and then like in the end like we see a little bit of uh, like you know portion we get a little bit of a portion where we see like you know the friends kind of hanging out and the other uh, you know the, the yellow haired girl is here i think her name is sakura isn't it uh is her name sakura just a sec uh hmm I, let's see yeah her name is sakura okay so yeah anyways so uh yeah as i was saying so she's also like included here and we saw her in the first episode and after that i don't think we saw her anymore so yeah she she's one of the <laughs> friend members you know uh, of nagatoro's group but anyways um yeah we see how they were like you know kind of interacting and all now then this two i don't know why but like are all the you know all the male characters in this anime like this like you know like in the first episode that was the first like no sorry not the first second or the third episode i can't remember like a similar thing like this happened like they were so pushy and so annoying like what the hell like <laughs> is there no normal male character here but i'm guessing like you know they're showing the extremities of everything like you know how <clears throat> usually like uh, their group like you know nagato's group is kind of like um uh, what what can i say like a delinquent quintish type of a group i'm not saying like they're delinquents but it's kind of like that it has an atmosphere like that like you know they're loud they're like you know like laughing and everything and um uh, so i'm guessing that's why like like the characters like the male characters like this kind of like come and interact with them but anyways so yeah and they like <clears throat> yeah, again like barge in into the whole situation and i can also see like yoshi is also awkward like um Oh, what's the name uh, gamo was not like you know like gamo is quite like uh, not at all like awkward at this and everything and she is like you know not bothered by this but like only to, like obviously like nahato was uh, like uh, uncomfortable in this whole situation as well but uh, at the same time i was not like you know like yoshi is also i can see that she was really freaking out <laughs> like nagata was not freaking out but yoshi was kind of freaking out at that scene <laughs> and uh, anyways so yeah and they're like kind of like you know and as we saw like you know that like pushy and everything and i'm sure like nagata would have like brushed them aside and like went on her own way but like you know senpai came in and like <laughs> the the branch kind of gave his position away and he came on like you know he <clears throat> he got involved in this situation and <laughs> when she when he says like you know let's go the smile <laughs> in nagatoro's face oh my god that was something like okay let me just like see the scene again yeah there you go like the smile Oh my god. <laughs> that was really good. I have to say like that scene. Really well done. And then like you know um like Gamo and Yoshi also said that yeah like let's go like they're annoying. <clears throat> and yeah. <laughs> and the, and the two <laughs> the two male characters were like what what is even happening here? <laughs> oh god. Anyways, so yeah and then um yeah, and then they go home. That's it. 
So yeah, that was really great. Like this episode is full of Senpai's character development, you know, uh, in the summer festival, like, you know, thing where he kind of says that like next year, let's go as well. And in this, like in the last part as well, when he comes and deliberately says that, let's go. And like, yeah, even though he's really awkward at doing that, but you know, like, I'm sure like this, this is also going to kind of, um, you know, he's going to get accustomed to it. Because this is Nagata we're talking about. Like, I'm sure she is going to tease him even more and, like, you know, kind of make him fall into these kind of awkward situations even more. And, you know, as time goes on, I'm sure, like, he'll get accustomed to everything. And, yeah, and I was, like, and I also in this episode, he was kind of, like, you know, going on the offensive as well in, in the summer festival, festival portion. Like, he's understanding how to, <laughs> like, you know, um, like, get back at Nagatoro. And that's great. And I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that he is finding the courage to do it. Like, the developments are happening. It's not like, you know, like, they're not, like, like you, know, you know, dragging the whole situation as, like, Senpai is, like, is trying to change. And he is changing slowly, bit by bit. And he's getting more confident and everything. So yeah, it'll take time, but I'm sure like he'll get there eventually. So and also like you know we can also see how Naruto's friends are also a lot comfortable, got a lot comfortable with him. Like in the first episode, they were like you know like hell bent on <laughs> torturing him, but now they're like all like you know cool with him. And Sakura is new to this whole thing, so I'm sure like she'll also get get accustomed to it if she comes like you know in the future episode. I'm not sure how much screen time she'll get. But I hope she'll get more screen time. So yeah, guys, that was it. This was uh, episode number seven of Ijira Naide Nagatoro-san. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Uh, I think I'm almost close to uh, 500 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please, you know, be sure to do so. <laughs> I'll reach that, like, you know, 500 subscribers is quite a big amount, at least for me. <laughs> So yeah, and um, comment down below anything you want to say, your opinions, uh, anything you want to like, you know, mention, I'll definitely check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Ijinanaite Nagatoro-san. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.